Hey, Coach Angela here. Happy March. So spring's just around the corner, the longer days, the lighter nights, the warmer weather is coming. Ideal conditions for running. Personally, that's what I think. So all those people that had the excuse of not wanting to run in the, in the winter when it was cold, that excuse is gone. We're into the spring running. Now, people ask me, when should I start training for my race? And in this case, with Bath Half being in October, and we're now in March, and before we know it, we'll be in April, and then it'll be Easter, and then before we know it, it'll be the middle of April, and then we'll be into May. Now, what I would say is over the coming weeks, perhaps March and April, have a think about the training that you do being base training. And what I mean by that is, think about if you're not running at the moment, think about getting a base level of training, a base level there. Now, if you think about a wedding cake, all runners like cake, don't they? Um, and if you had a multi-tiered wedding cake, in order to build a big wedding cake, you need a big base or a big foundation level of that cake. And once you've got that, you can build your layers up and up and up. And what we mean by the base miles are the runs or the exercises or the program that you have that gives you that, that firm foundation. So if you're a non-runner, it would be perhaps building up to running three times a week. Um, that's only an example. It's not it's not written in um, written in stone that that's what you must do as an example. Perhaps if you're already a runner and you're looking, well, actually, this is the third time I'm running Bath Half. I want to do it in a little bit of a faster time. Then maybe we'd be thinking about adding some strength training into your training week, not just running. Um, and once we've got that, that, that base training there, then we can start working on more specific training. And again, for non-runners, that would be building up your long distance uh, run um, gradually over the weeks. And for experienced runners, it would be perhaps putting in some more tempo work, um, some intervals, uh, hill, speed work, etc. So going back to what I said at the beginning about it being March and when do you start your training? Well, have a think about that wedding cake and that base layer of training. So it's never too early to start training. There's always something that you could be doing to work on your fitness. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. <laughs> Happy to answer them individually.